Hi there and welcome back. I'm Crystal, the content director and commercial product photographer for Crystal Clear Photography. I'm coming to you this week giving you five reasons why stock photos are only a temporary fix for your business. The first reason that stock photos can only be a temporary fix for your business is because when you're really looking to elevate and take your business to the next level, you're going to want to start marketing. And maybe you're going to start some Facebook ads to try to get your products out there and in front of more audiences so more people will purchase and buy, right? So when you do that and you're using stock photos or some kind of mock-up photo that's out in one of the stock shops, it can lower your conversion rates. People are going to be less likely to click on something that they might have seen before and Facebook and Instagram have funky little algorithms that pick up these kinds of things. And if people aren't clicking or liking your post because they feel like they've seen it before, then no one's clicking on your product and Instagram and Facebook are less likely to be able to push it out there. So it will definitely lower your conversion rates. So I would consider doing custom mock-ups for yourself periodically to just keep everything very fresh and make sure that your ads are actually converting and giving you sales that you're looking for. And the next two tips, so tip number two and tip number three, actually kind of go hand in hand. Uh, tip two is that stock photos tend to lack authenticity. I mean, really need I say much more there? Uh, the reason they can lack authenticity is because they're not tailor fit to your brand and your personality and your style. It may be something that you're just settling for. With that being said, people in your industry are going to start using some of the ones that are going to be similar because, well, when we all see a beautiful stock photo, nine times out of 10, we're probably not the only one that thinks it looks great. So we're probably not going to be the only person who's going to purchase it. That's the point of the stock shops for them to be able to get revenue. So while it might be a temporary fix for your website and your marketing needs to kind of get things up and going or just start pushing out your design, it's not a good long-term goal if you're really trying to build brand individuality and stand out amongst your competition. Reason number four is your vision versus someone else's. Stock photos are beautiful, they're great. I used to even sell them myself. So everyone has a great vision, however, sometimes that vision may not be yours, which is why you can spend hours going through stock libraries trying to find the right photo that's gonna fit exactly what it is that you're going for. So when you do your own photo shoot versus having a stock photo, you get an opportunity to really control more of that vision and tying in more of your brand and the things that you would like to see and you wanna have present for those stock photos. Now. I kind of briefly mentioned it, but you're going to save yourself a lot of time. You spend a lot of time going through stock shops and trust me, it's a rabbit hole of beautiful photos with all kinds of color palettes and so many different options and choices to choose from that you can spend a lot of time focused on that versus actually working in your business and selling your products and getting those things out there. So save yourself a little bit of time. Don't also worry about having to settle. There's nothing worse than feeling like you settled on a photo only to not be happy with it. So when you do a custom shoot versus choosing a stock photo, you get an opportunity to not have to settle for anything less than perfect and what's gonna fit your product and your brand best. And one last bonus tip, a photographer might cost a little bit more upfront, but those photos are yours forever, which means that you can constantly be able to reuse those and filter them through. So maybe you use them for a little while, you come back and you use them again in six months, use them again in a year, you know, come back to them again in two years, whatever you might do, that content is yours to own and nobody else will ever have it. So while a photographer might have those upfront costs that you may not be wanting to consider just yet, when you do get to that point, just know that those images are going to be yours. They're going to be custom fit to exactly what you're looking for. So not knocking those stock photos. They are definitely a really good temporary fix, especially if you're starting up and getting going. But overall, in the end, make sure that you take the time to invest in your photography, invest in what you're going to want your business to look like, and creating the brand that your product is going to be recognized for. Until next week, make sure to click subscribe below. Keep up with all of the tips that I have each week to help you improve your photography skills, working best with the photographer. And if there's anything that you see that you want me to talk about, make sure to drop a comment below so that I know exactly what it is that you're looking for and can make sure you have all the information that you need.